Hello and welcome back to the Watchman channel. Thank you for joining me, friend. This prophetic word comes from Amy Sutherland, Atlanta, Georgia. Look up, hear, and know. Distraction is the gateway to deception. Many are beholding deception by gazing upon the distraction. If we become what we behold, we continue to behold and gaze on the distraction. We therefore become deceived by it. Look up. This morning at 4.42 a.m., I heard the Lord say, Look up. Prior to this, through the early hours, He was waking me and speaking about beholding deception. Though I may sound like an annoying alarm, I must continue to be faithful on what He is saying regarding this. He continues to speak, as I've been writing about, an oncoming mass deception. I believe the timestamp coincides with John 4.42. And they told the woman, We no longer believe just because of what you said, for now we have heard him for ourselves, and know with confident assurance that this one is truly the Savior of all the world. John 4.42 from the Amplified. For reference, a few verses earlier we read how many believed in Jesus based off testimony of the Samaritan woman, the woman at the well. John 4.39 Further, we read in John 4.42 the people are no longer going to believe just because they heard a story, they heard a testimony or a prophecy. Their confidence was now found by hearing the Lord for themselves. Confidence in truth in this hour will be and has to come from the Lord himself, one true Savior. We cannot base our root or our beliefs from what others have said, like our family, the media, even leaders. Not even what we can see. We have to hear and see from ourselves, as from a deep abiding in truth. And that can only be found by knowing the Lord for yourself. You must know and recognize his voice. See 2 Corinthians 11, 14. Romans 10, 17. John 1, 1. And John 10, 1 through 11. Heavenly Father, the cry of our heart is to know you. Lord, may we know your heart and not just your hand. Lord, may we know you who, for who you are and not just because of what you do. Lord, I thank you that you are the good shepherd. I thank you, Lord, that you do offer this amazing, this amazing exchange, this amazing relationship, Father, that we can know you. We can know the God of the universe. Think of that, friend. Not only can we know him, but he eagerly desires and pursues us. If that doesn't make your, t your head tilt, I don't know what will. Lord, I thank you, Father, that we can have this confident assurance, that we can know you, we can hear you, and Father, we can, we can gauge through our own wisdom, through the understanding that you give us, that we can see a thing and know a thing. Lord, help us to be able to discern. Help us to first look up, to hear from you, and to know what is true. Lord, help us not to rely on our family, on the media, sister so-and-so, brother what's-his-name. But Lord, help us to trust confidently in you, knowing who you are, because we have heard you for ourselves. Lord, may all of the prophetic words that we hear be confirmations of what you've already told us, Holy Spirit. It's in your mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.